Hello friends, welcome to part one of our two-part series on the intricate world of your gut that includes organs like stomach, intestines, and its role in weight management. Have you ever wondered why those stubborn pounds just won't shift no matter what you do? You're eating right and working out, but the scale isn't budging. Frustrating, isn't it? Well, today, we're going to dive into an often overlooked part of your body that plays a massive role in weight management, your gut. That's right. Our gut health plays a crucial role in our weight management. These trillions of bacteria living in our gut, our microbiota, aren't just there for the ride. They are actively participating in our metabolic processes, extracting energy from our food, influencing our hunger and fullness cues, and even deciding how much fat we store. In this video, we're going to unravel the intricate connections between gut health and weight loss. We will explore the foods that encourage the growth of bad bacteria and then switch gears to unveil the unsung heroes of our gut, the beneficial bacteria and the foods that promote their prosperity. The revelations might shock you. They might challenge your current understanding of weight management, and we're sure they'll provide you with a fresh perspective. Stick around until the end, because without this understanding of gut health, your weight management efforts could be less effective than they should be. Don't miss out on part two of this series where we'll delve further into the foods that promote a healthy gut. So sit tight and get ready to explore six crucial factors and the corresponding foods that influence them. By doing so, you'll gain a better understanding of how your gut impacts weight management. Factor one. The calorie super extractor bacterial like the Firmicutes have evolved to be extremely good at their job, which is to squeeze out every last calorie from the complex sugar that you eat and turning them into fat. But hang on, don't be too excited. These bacteria can be a lifesaver when food is scarce. When these bacteria grow unchecked, they may start accumulating calories you don't need, leading to unwanted weight gain. Bacteria like Firmicutes thrive on a diet rich in sugars and fats, particularly processed foods. This includes fast food, sugary drinks, and packaged snacks. Refined carbohydrates like white bread and pasta can also contribute to the growth of these bacteria. Factor 2. Recurring activation of body's defense. We have the troublesome bacteria species from the family of Enterobacteriaceae. These bacteria produce toxins that, in excess, can damage the gut lining, spark an immune response, and slow down metabolism. This constant natural internal defense and conflict inside you damages the intestine lining over time and can allow toxins to seep into your bloodstream, causing chronic inflammation. This chronic inflammation could slow down your fat loss journey and lead to either a weight loss plateau or a weight gain. You can think of this like a city security system going overboard, causing more harm than good. Diet that is low in fiber and high in saturated fats like red meat and full fat dairy products can contribute to the growth of this group of bacteria. Factor three, your gut isn't just about digestion, it's also a hormone factory. The hunger hormone ghrelin and the satiety hormone leptin are under the control of your gut's bacterial inhabitants. Some bad bacteria, if they grow too dominant, could trick you into feeling hungry more often by boosting ghrelin levels, the hunger hormone. This could lead to overeating and weight gain. But there's good news. Beneficial bacteria, like bifidobacteria and moctobacilli, can counter this by influencing leptin, the hormone that signals you're full. Foods that are high in sugar and fat can stimulate the production of ghrelin, potentially encouraging the growth of bacteria that boost hunger levels. Factor 4. Fat Storage The gut also produces a short-chain fatty acid called propionate. This tiny molecule has the power to influence the liver's production of glucose and signal to the brain to reduce hunger. It also puts a break on the production of new fatty acids in the liver, helping to prevent excess fat storage. It's like having a financial advisor in your gut, optimizing how your body stores and uses energy. A low-fiber diet can limit the production of short-chain fatty acids like propionate and may end up impacting your weight. Factor 5. Optimum Calorie Burn did you know, your gut microbiota can influence how many calories you burn while you're just lounging around. Certain good bacteria in your gut can increase energy expenditure, meaning a healthier gut could help you burn more calories even when you're not hitting the gym. It's like having a personal trainer living in your gut, working for you around the clock. Finally, factor six, the fat super extractor. The gut microbiota can play a crucial role in how your body absorbs and uses nutrients from your diet. Some good bacteria promote better absorption of nutrients, contributing to overall health. 
However, the bad bacteria can tip the scales towards weight gain by enhancing the absorption of dietary fats. Although this isn't necessarily negative all the time, an imbalance where harmful bacteria surpass the beneficial ones could lead to excessive extraction of dietary fats, thereby contributing to weight gain. These bad bacteria might be stimulated by a diet that are high in unhealthy fats like trans fats and saturated fats found in processed foods and fast food. Remember friends, our bad gut bacteria aren't villains. They become problematic only when they grow out of proportion due to our diet, leading to weight gain. This brings us to the end of part one of gut health and weight management. In the part two, we will shift our focus to the health foods that the good bacteria in our gut love, helping you take control of your gut health and better weight management. So are you in for more? If yes, hit subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated. Like this video, give us a thumbs up. We can't wait to see you in part two. Until then, remember your health, including your gut health is in your hands.